Hi there, this is another video on our 12 volt vacuum pump. We had some customers asking us uh, how well the pump could pump water. And since it's a, it's a diaphragm style pump inside, it has a plunger that goes back and forward very fast to move the air from the inlet to the outlet. We thought we'd do an experiment to see how well it could pump water. This is actually a reshoot of the video that we took yesterday, but we felt it wasn't clear enough, so we've redone it. But this time we've put some food colouring in the water so that you can see it easily on mobile phones and things like that. So, very simple setup. We've got a couple of uh, hoses on the inlet and outlet. Uh, the inlet hose is going to this container and then the outlet hose it should start shooting water out into the outlet container. So if Drew just switches it on. It's actually not too bad, it's shifting the water quite quickly. It's also very splashy. Very, very splashy. Great, I'm now covered in blue food dye, but you get the point, it, it's not too bad, it's, it's shifting water through that, that small bore hose quite quickly. So if we just kind of do another experiment to see how high a head of water that it can lift. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the pump up as high as I can, it'll probably be out of camera shot. I'll, I'll raise it the entire length of the tubing, which is about one metre long, and we'll see if it can actually lift the water away up and then push it into the outlet container. So if Drew switches it on again, Yeah, and it's actually not even affected by the height. It's, there's no performance drop or anything being away up in the air like that. It's totally fine. Apart from uh, the noise, and the obvious noise and the vibration, uh, it's not too bad. Now the other thing that we wanted to point out is because this is a diaphragm motor, the pump comes into three separate parts. You've got the pumping head there and then you've got the shim plate and the outlet plate. Now if you remove the outlet plate and the shim plate, you can rotate it round so if your project doesn't lend itself to having the, the inlet and outlet hoses pointing straight up in the air like that, you can just undo these four screws rotate the, the shim plate and the outer plate round and have the hose coming out to the left or the right or straight down, etc. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks very much.